guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be taking you along as i paint some flamingos and i know that might seem like a random animal but i've actually always wanted to paint them because i thought their coloring was really beautiful and i thought it'd be fun to try and recreate that with some acrylic paints so if you guys are interested keep on watching oh and if you guys enjoy the content that i made please go click that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to support my channel so I'm just going to start off by giving it a base coat and I like to use the color Golden Brown, Brown. Golden Brown by Craftsmart. It's just, it's one of the larger tubes, they're like $2.99 I want to say. And I just use that with a lot of water just so that I can get rid of such the really bright and white background. So I am going to be using my laptop for a reference photo. Um, I'm going to start working on the background now just because I want to leave the detail for the flamingos last so I'd rather just start getting an idea of the kind of background that I want to have. I usually end up changing my mind several times. It's, I don't know why I can never be satisfied with the background. It's like not an issue but it takes the longest for paint for me is the background rather than the animal or main component of the piece itself. So I filmed more of myself painting this background with these colors but I cut it short and I'll explain that in a minute on why. The reason I left this portion in the video is because I wanted to show how my painting process actually happens and that it's perfectly fine to change your mind. So you don't really have to paint this part, you can skip over it, but I just wanted to show that this is how my thought process happens while I'm painting. So I like the overall direction that the background is going in. I want it to be grays, white, and a hint of blues, but I want there to be some yellow undertone as well. I want it to be a certain kind of gray, and that's what's been tricky trying to get the color. But I think if I add some more of that light pistachio and maybe just a hint of yellow like a mustard it might start getting me into the gray that I want especially down here I do like the blue but I don't want it that blue so I'm gonna try again so it's just all different kind of undertones of gray that all blend together well though into one cohesive color okay so it's been a couple of weeks since I have touched this painting. I actually went to Oklahoma and Texas, but yeah, so when I came back, I saw this painting and I was like, my ideas have changed since then. And I know that I was leaning towards this light gray color for the background and like hints of blue hues, but I'm not really feeling that anymore. I think a dark color for the background would be a really nice contrast to the pink flamingos, the, the bright pink colors that I'm thinking of using. So I'm going to work on the background and I want it to be dark, 
but I don't want it to just be pure black. I kind of want to mix a bunch of different colors together and see what kind of color I come up with because I think just a black background is kind of boring for this. Like it's just I don't I don't want it to just be just black. I want some other colors to speak through it. So I'm thinking of mixing some oranges, maybe some purples or reds in the background to really get a really nice dark color, but I want to see hints of other colors in it as well. So yeah, that's what I'm going to work on right now and then I will do the flamingos. Now that I have a better idea of where I want to take this piece because when I first started the background I did want it light gray but it kind of wasn't you know sitting with me the colors weren't coming out the way that I wanted to so I figured now now that I've taken a break and and looking back at this painting I want something completely different than what I was going to start with and I'm actually really glad that I took that break because I don't think I would have been satisfied with the blue gray background so yeah, let's get started on that background and yeah. Oh, I just want to add in that this is my little succulent that's been on my windowsill and I actually thought it was dying. Um, this was this summer was the first time I ever bought succulents and you're not supposed to water them as frequently as you water other plants. So I was watering it I think once a month, twice a month maybe. And the leaves just felt like they were getting very soft and a lot of them were falling off. You can probably see right there, that's still some that was falling off from underneath the old bit. But when I came back, um, they've just been on my windowsill and it grew an entire new, like, crown. I thought that was so cool. So yeah, just wanted to share that. And my other one as well. But again, this is my first time with succulents, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing wrong. Maybe they weren't getting enough, enough sun. Um, but yeah, it feels kind of soft, that one petal right there. But it, it's grown more, like it lost all of its petals. And this was full before, like a little flower. It was really pretty. Yeah, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing wrong. Um, if you know anything about succulents and plants like this, and you have any tips and advice, please leave that down in the comment section. I would greatly appreciate it because I really don't want these to die. Um, yeah, so yeah. Okay, so I pretty much just mixed um, this bright red. It's by Apple Barrel. You find these at Michael's, they're really cheap. I think they have them at every craft store. Um, Hobby Lobby should have them as well. And then just Craft Smart Black acrylic paint. And it gave me like this really nice purple. Well, it has undertone of purple. It doesn't really look like a, like when you look at it, you wouldn't really think, oh, that's purple. No, you have to really look at the color to see that there's like, violet like dark violet inside of it I don't know you just you gotta look at it to see what I'm talking about I'll do a close-up in a moment so you guys can see just the color that I'm talking about because I know it's coming up black on the camera but it's it does not look like that um, in person So I'm actually pretty satisfied with the background. I do like the color a lot and I wanted to leave it kind of, not streaky, but I wanted to be able to see my paint strokes. Um, I've been liking the very 
almost unfinished look that he gives to my paintings. Um, when I first started painting, I would like blend and blend until my hands cramped up. Um, but I never kind of, I never quite got the look that I wanted to achieve. And now I feel like when, now I feel like when I paint, I just don't put all this pressure, like I have to blend this to be perfect and I have to paint this line exactly straight. I just kind of paint and those moments where I'm just painting um, and I feel like a random burst of inspiration and I just start painting with no plan in mind, my paintings come out the best and I feel like that's because I'm not trying so hard. Like I'm just focusing, it's just me and the painting. It's just me and the idea that I have in my head that I'm trying to execute, trying to get it out. And I get it out quickly and I sketch it out and it all comes together really fast instead of overthinking. And that's one of my biggest problems and what I'm trying to overcome. And I think a lot of people struggle with that, just putting an immense amount of pressure on, on themselves when painting or drawing anything. And you have to remember that you gotta give yourself a break. The whole point of painting, like this is all supposed to be fun, a way to express yourself. So that's something that I'm really trying to, to focus on, just having fun with it and not trying to make the painting absolutely perfect, just making it, just getting it out of my head and just making it for myself. And that's the most important thing to me. So I really do like um, how that background color came out and I like the sh strokes that I can see of almost brown violet peeking through in between the darker black and red paint. Yeah. But moving on now to the flamingos. Give me the snack. bodies I used a mix of different colors you can see that I use some reds some pinks and orange as well and then I'm just using different tones of that um, to create all of these different colors and I'm trying to blend certain areas but for the feathers I don't want to blend them out too much because I really want it to look as though it's layered on colors the way that feathers kind of have you know that darker underneath color and that beautiful light pink on top so that's kind of how I'm trying to create that effect of very detailed feathers, even though I'm not doing a lot of detail, because that's just something for me that I don't do a lot of. I prefer to do very fast paintings, um, and that's just my style. wanted to say that if you're blending and it's not coming out right at first just keep on trying try to give yourself a break because this is something that requires a lot of layers 
and it's okay to take some breaks in between let it dry then add on top of that or else your colors are just gonna blend together and i really wanted some to be really pronounced like that red on the first flamingo's feathers the one that's closest to the front i really wanted that red to just be red i didn't want it to blend with any of the other colors so i waited on that part so if you see that your colors are blending together too much just give it a minute let it dry acrylic paint dries fairly quickly so yeah don't be too hard on yourself this is supposed to be fun so just take it easy up of the beak so that you can see the colors that I did use because I didn't do that with the first flamingo that I did so as you can see I've used some oranges light pink and black I don't like using just flat colors like I didn't want to do the beak just black and white I thought that'd be kind of boring so I like to use like a light pink instead of white when I'm trying to create different tones of a color and that's what I've done here so if you have a light pink or if you have a darker pink and just want to use perhaps a lighter orange to really try to get achieve the color that I've created here or you know use whatever you have because whatever you've got will work just as just as well and it's okay if yours doesn't look exactly like this this is just some of the colors that I used. I could have even gone an entirely lighter color of pink for the bodies but I just thought since this is more my style it's not as hyper realistic as a lot of other styles can be that's just not my style um but yeah overall i did really like the colors that i chose i really like how it came out so far so.
just have to comment and say I think it's really funny that I changed outfits, my hair is different throughout this entire video just because it took me so long to actually sit down and edit and finish filming this <laughs> because time just was not on my side and I didn't have a lot of, I was having storage issues on my phone, which is what I used to record, but I just wanted to add that in. That's why all of a sudden I have short hair and I'll mention that in the next part as well, but it's just funny to me. So I'm happy to finally say that this piece is done and it has taken me so long to finish it, to just sit down and film and it was staring at me unfinished and I had to finally just sit down and do it and that's why, as you can see now, it's been months, it's now winter and I started this in the summer, my hair short, every, there's so many different changes, so much time has passed, but I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. I love the colors and I love how simple it was to do, honestly. I like that it's not overly complicated and there's not too much detail. It's a good beginner's painting, especially with the brush strokes that give the impression that you've done detailed feathers, but it's not. And yeah, I just think the colors are really nice and flamingos have always been beautiful birds to me. I've always loved looking at them. I think that the black background really contrasts nicely with the color. It makes it pop and I love that it's not just solid black. I used, I forget the name. This is called Primary Magenta and I mixed this with Mars Black. This is from Royal and Lane Gold Essentials Paint and this one is the Artist Loft Mars Black. But you can use any paint colors that you have. I just didn't want a flat black background. So if you do look close, you can see hints of the magenta peeking through and I think that that's just really pretty. I think it finishes the painting really nicely. So yeah, there you have it. Flamingos. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Um, you can head on over to my Instagram and give me a follow at Chanel Cologne Art and see more of my day-to-day -day life and the paintings and illustrations that I do. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.